It's no secret that Chicago is home to the original deep dish pizza. But what you might not know is that behind this humble facade, better known as Burt's Place, is the man who's dishing out what may be the best pies in town. Well, basically the only entree, if you will, is Chicago-style pizzas. We make one style, and hopefully we make it well. And today, I'm headed to the Village Marketplace, where Bert stops every morning to get the ingredients for his famous pies. Bert, you started without oh, me. You're really late. late. You're, you're really late. <laughs> Don't you have someone that does this for you? No, no, I take care of it myself. It works better that way. Yeah. For being 77 years old, Bert has a lot of energy. I mean, it's 8 in the morning right now. I'm still waking up, and he's been up since 3 a.m. And whether I'm awake or not, I'm about to find out what grocery shopping with this pizza master is like. You can start picking up some of these peppers for okay. me. Okay. Don't start an avalanche. Why don't we get some banana peppers? All right. And you know which one they are? No, we ain't. No, I don't. How did you know? <laughs> I know, my dear. We use a lot of fresh mushrooms. There's the mushrooms. All right, let's go. Do you come here every day for fresh ingredients? Every morning. Fresh ingredients is, is paramount. All right, I think we're just about ready here. I haven't been to the grocery store in so long. I can tell. How can you tell? How can I tell? It's obvious to everybody but you. <laughs> Bert's funny. He's given me a hard time, and he's very grandfather-like to me. After everything is bagged and checked out, a short drive takes us to Bert's place, which he opened back in 1986. And it's there that I meet the rest of Bert's workforce. Well, here it is, Bert's place. So where's the staff? Well, you're looking at 50% of the staff. The other 50% is my wife, Sharon. She's, she's right over here. Come Hi, on, Sharon. Sharon. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to see you. Thank <laughs> you for your help. We got a lot of work for you to do. Maybe we'll hire you, maybe not. So let the job interview begin. This is a knife. Oh, I didn't know you hold this end. Uh, well, you'll find out <laughs> soon. Is that enough? No, that's not enough. Why are you stopping there? I fill this thing up. To the top? No, to the bottom. I like Bert. He gives you a hard time, but it's all good fun. He's a pizza wizard. I told you you haven't been in the kitchen in a long time. Like 23 years or so. Do you watch the show, Bert? I'm in the kitchen all the time. It's a man, he play one, he play eight, nine, 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 nine. That's the base. We got to get it spread out evenly around the whole base. Okay. And all you do with that is just press it down. The pan style that, that we make is made actually in a steel uh, seasoned pan. The dough is very light in texture. I you love like cheese? cheese? Take a piece and chew. Nice. That is good cheese, it's, yeah. Yes, it is. Now, where do you get the cheese from? The milk of cows. <laughs> in typical deep dish fashion, we pile on the fresh ingredients, which includes everything from jalapenos to peppers and mushrooms. Once the toppings are laid out evenly, these pies go into the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, I have been dying to try this deep dish pizza all day. Now I finally get to do it. I'm digging it. The dough, the, it's so good, the crust, everything. The dough is part of the pizza. It's not a platform to put things on. This is my kind of pizza, this is good. That's the best pizza I've ever eaten. We've been eating Bert's pizza since we've been in high school. He was basically the first person to make deep dish pizza. So we order an extra large just to take some home. <laughs> if I had to describe Bert's pizza to somebody who can't get here, too bad for you. <laughs> well, Bert, thanks for letting me help out today. You did a very good job, <laughs> but a hostess, keep your day job. Okay. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Bert. Since you're such a sweetheart, I'll let you do the outro. This is Bert's Place, Mort Grove, signing off. <laughs>